seems unsaid. Reversal. It doesn't feel like work, I'll tell you that much. We have entered the vortex of Sopranos. I'm Karen Duffy at Silver Cup Studios in New York City. I'm on the set of HBO's award-winning series, The Sopranos. Average days go from like 14, 16 hours. It's like a 13-hour film. We have a great time, and it doesn't feel like actual work is getting accomplished. But somehow or other, by the end of the day, we've done eight scenes. I'm responsible for scheduling the episode, arranging the scenes in the order that we're going to shoot them. We have Dr. Freed's office. This is a TV set where he's filming an infomercial. Then we go to his real office set, and then we go to the back room of the Bada Bing, and then we go to the Soprano household. We shoot on a nine-day episode, four or five days on location, four or five days on the stage. Once again. Action. Not again, Tony. I can't keep doing this. <sighs> what? Well, I'm in the middle of a commercial. Can he go to the emergency room? Well, what are you doing on the set today? Well, David Chase likes to have a writer on the set to oversee and, and to be a resource for the uh, director. Moving to stage 10. Action. He's going, Tony. He's going big time. Every time you whack somebody, you risk exposure. Major motives, what the feds want for Christmas. Cut. So not only, you know, have you been amazing with this character, but you've been writing as well. Yeah, I wrote an episode for the, the second season and one for yeah. the new season, and that's been a great experience, mm -hmm. to be able to write for your friends. The cast is so great, and it's so easy. Everyone in this show is so involved, mm -hmm. top to bottom. The show wrap on Michael! Your character is so convincing. Do people sometimes mistake you? I get it all the time. I get it all the time saying, you're so mean. <laughs> they point at me like this, you're so mean. And then I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That's lunch, one half hour. Action. What, a case is still pending. What are you trying me on a simple mail and wire for, but they're holding out. They'd rather fold it into a major recall. What do you think the best thing is about being on this show? Working with these people, and I learn a lot from this character. With, um, you know, the passing of Nancy Marchand, how is it coming back? To me, she was like the center of everything. So it was weird. The character was, was different when I came back to me. It felt odd, which I think to, the, to Tony it would. She was a great woman, a great lady. She taught me a lot just watching her and the way she handled herself. <laughs> when people come to the set, what do they want to see? They want to go in the Soprano house, they go into the kitchen, and then they open the refrigerator. And they want to see what's in the refrigerator. Rolling! <laughs> 18 take four. Why oh, this mad cow disease? I think it's terrible the English government didn't tell people sooner. Why didn't you want to create a stampede? Very nice, guys. You just inhabit this character so beautifully. Yeah, I, I don't know, uh, you know who she is or where she came from, but I, I guess at this point I, I am almost as comfortable as her as I am as me, which is a little actually upsetting. For HBO, I'm Karen Duffy.